Welcome to YouTube by DJSPRC. We have the Bronco TRX4M and it's time to upgrade the links uh, to the Traxxas high performance links. Yeah, they're aluminum instead of being plastic like stock on the truck. Uh, part number 9749, uh, suspension link. Uh, Set steel uh, included uh, four by three, three mil front lower. You do the complete vehicle. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove our body off the truck. Now, if you've been following the uh, the bill upgrade, the last stuff I did to this truck right now. Um, I have the diff covers in brass. I have the steering knuckles, the steering links in brass. I do have the X's in brass. Um, the steering link bar steel. I do have the servo mount aluminum with the upgraded TRX4M from PowerHD upgraded in this truck too. Uh, and I do have other upgrades. I did not do any videos on Simple reason, there's a lot of stuff happening in the interweb with this truck and Traxxas lawsuit, things like that. Uh, I do have the Yaw Racing shock mounts done on it too. Uh, I do have the Yaw Racing center drive shafts. I took an advance and removed them because uh, they're going to be in my way when I'm going to do links. And I do have other diff covers, uh, center, diff, center diff plate or should I say transmission cover uh, that's coming to you from Yaw Racing. But today we're going to do these links here. Let's open our pack. Two of this of this guy and we should have four of that guy let's grab our vehicle we're going to start with the back there's less moving parts we're going to start by removing our wheel move our upgrade x remove our pins Put that aside. Front is going to be a little bit more complex. The reason is it be because where the servo mount is, it's a pain in the bum uh, to be able to do them. Grab our 1.5. I'm going to start. Oop, that's a 1.3. Start by removing the top links. Put our bolt there. Do the other side. Pop those out. And I'm going to go to my shock. Remove that screw. I'm going to leave it in the shock. And lean the shock forward. Pop that link out. You do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I said it, I lay it left on the other one, I removed it on that one, but it doesn't really matter. Pop that link out. Always measure if they're identical. They are. Okay. Pop that there. Put one on each side. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do these two here at the same time. The reason is because it's a lot easier now. 
instead of hassling like this, I can flip it. Super easy access. Pop the diff, and I'm gonna put the diff behind the vehicle, the same way, technically kind of taking it out. That way I don't mix myself up. We're gonna re remove the top one here. Pop the link out. Again, gonna go measure. It is the same. Grab our link. Gonna put it in. And screw or screw back in. You could remove both. I'd rather do one at a time. Now, battery strap is in my way. You don't need to do these links if you don't want to. Don't remember the price Canadian for these guys here, but they're not that expensive and it prevents your links from bending. Because these are, if you take them, I can bend them. I can twist them. I can do a lot of stuff. These, you can't bend them. Or if you do bend them, they're bent. When you are crawling, it keeps everything straighter. But everybody has their own, everybody's different. Not everybody thinks the same. Now we're gonna take our diff, bring this back, put our link in. Do the same thing on the other one. Grab our long screw. And wiggle that one in. And I don't know if you notice the way I keep everything on the table. For some reason, if I need to stop and go do something else, when I come back, I know, oh yeah, that links that side, that screws that side, everything stays and it's kind of its own bubble. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pop this link back here. Now even then, we'll go, we're gonna go back and bolt it where it needs to go. Put it back where it needs to go here. Grab our 1.5. Now bring it in the back here. Sometimes these ball ends, I feel like they hate me. There we go. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver, make sure it's aligned. It is. Bring my shock back and bolt it back. That way, nothing moves. Because one thing I do hate, you align something on one side, and next thing you know, it pops out of the other side. It's like annoying. And do the same thing again. Okay, I might have. Yeah, I did. I put the wrong screw back here. See, without even paying attention. Is this screw here super short? Yep. It's a long one that goes on the bottom here.
No, I know what I did. I know what I did. <laughs> I mixed it up with the shock. See, that proves what I was saying. When you are putting your screws in, do not mix yourself up. But again, this was super easy to find and see. Because when trying to bolt the top one here, you saw it that something's not right. The screw was way too long. There you go. Kind of glad that happened. It proves my point. Now I lined this guy back in. Grab my screwdriver. Yes, it is a line. Bring my screw. And screw the back in. There we go. And our links are done. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to button back the back, back up. Uh, you saw me dismantle it. It's, that's one part super easy. And once that's done, I'll, you won't notice, but I'll restart the video and we'll tackle the front end. And we're back. I took the liberty to re remove the front end. Uh, same thing I did, I did with the back. Now what we're going to do is pretty much the same procedure as the back with the front. Grab a screwdriver, remove the two top links. Or I should say the bottom links. Right now looking at it front end facing to me, eh, they are the top. But technically speaking, they are the bottom. And I'm going to try not to do like I did with the other one. Mix myself with the, uh, the screws. I'm going to keep these on top. Up the two links. Remove the ones for the shock. Yes, I did not unscrew enough. Okay, keep the screw with the shock again. Now, if you do feel comfortable to do this without needing this video, go ahead, continue further. But it's pretty much repeating the back just a little bit differently. Pop the link out. Okay. And measuring the link with the other one. These are the same. These two right here. Put those aside. Now we can't really do it like the other one. We can't flip the diff forward, unfortunately. You can remember which side is the nut. It's on this side. We're gonna grab my wheel X and we'll need to remove the screw that holds the server mount and the links together. Here's your nut. I'm gonna push the screw out. There we go. Now, if you still have the stock servo mount, you won't need, you won't have a nut on one side. It's just gonna need to back up that screw. And then we'll be able to pop these two here out. 
now because the links are not in my way I'm able to flip them and you'll notice that's where they insert right here I know it's a little bit harder to see you'll notice that's where they pop in right there and your bolt goes side to side now what we're going to do I'm going to grab my two links I'm going to leave these guys there okay and I'm going to insert them and we do this the first one here first grab my screwdriver and it is aligned start inserting that way it holds the link there both links are in I'm gonna grab my nut and screwing my nut in it's a lot easier to do it doing it this way tighten that up without being too forceful links right there pop this back in the truck now we're gonna start removing this link these are the screws for these guys now there's a lot of people will just unbolt every link out there uh, I prefer doing one by one that way you don't get mixed up again that's me I'd rather keep everything simple and complicate my life there's even a lot of stuff uh, I see people bringing me vehicles sometimes oh, can you try to fix this I say sure and I look at the vehicle they tried I'm giving them an A for effort for sure of trying but unfortunately they dismantle half the vehicle for something you don't need to dismantle the complete vehicle and bolt that link back in Now with our diff straight, grab our first link, pop that one in, grab our shock, bolt our shock back up, Put our link back here too. Grab our screw. I could be fast at putting this screw in. I am right-handed, not left-handed. I could use a drill too, but yeah. Grab our other link and basically do the opposite of the other side. And the other thing too, without dismantling the complete vehicle or removing all the links, you're doing one side and for some reason, I don't know, you get distracted uh, and or you get a phone call or something you need to leave the vehicle alone and you come back and you're gonna be oh I don't remember how I put this I removed this which one goes here which screws which too many often times I see people bring me their vehicle 
and remove some screws that I know what size goes there. That screws way too long. And here a link. Making sure everything still moves. And this is how you do the, th the Traxxas TRX links. The 9749 on a TRX4M. Now, if you guys have questions or comments, post them below, 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 below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I do appreciate it a lot. It does help the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.